So in this video we're going to learn how to create a simple infinite scrolling system using jQuery. And what our infinite scrolling system is going to do is it's going to load our data in chunks. So you can see there's five videos at the minute but as I scroll it's going to load more videos in underneath. So if I scroll up you can see the scroll bar is really big because the page only has these five videos on it. But now I start to scroll down you can see the scroll bar has shrunk because it's loaded in five more videos and if I scroll down more you can see here are the other five videos and there you can see the scroll bar just jumped up and shrunk again because it loaded in even more videos and we're going to scroll down again and it jumped again and it loaded in the last set of videos. In case you're wondering why we might want to do this, on the social network series you can see when we load the page we're loading all of these posts in and you can see we're starting to get quite a lot of posts and some of them have pictures so what we might want to do on the social network series is to use infinite scrolling to only load small chunks of data when we need it because at the minute you can see I can only see these two posts and I might not scroll down on the page so I don't need to load in the other posts underneath. So we could use infinite scrolling or pagination but infinite scrolling looks better and it's more suited to something like this. So how does it actually work? So when we load the page, you can see we're loading the page, we load our jQuery, and then you can see we send another request off to this page, data.php, and we give it a start value. When I click on this, you can see it returns the JSON of these five videos. And when I scroll down, you can see we're gonna send a request. You can see there's the second request. So initially we're loading the first five videos. So we set start equal to zero. Then after we've loaded the first five, we wanna load the next five. So we set our start equal to five so that we're downloading the next group of five videos. Now what we're gonna do is scroll down again. And when we get near the bottom, it's going to send another request and now you can see start is equal to 10. We've got the next set of five videos and we scroll down again. Now start is equal to 15 and we have our last set of videos. So let's see how this is actually implemented. So the first thing we do is we have this data.php file. This is instead of having a database, this is just for the sake of the video. I created a class called video. Each video has a name and it has a number of views. Then I created an array of videos and this is just an array that stores all of our data. This is just like our database. And all this loop does is it loops through the database and it gets videos in groups of fives. And then we just convert the array to JSON and print it out and that's all we're doing. Next we have our index page. The first thing we're doing on the index page is we're loading our jQuery and then here below that is where we actually start the code for our infinite scrolling. So we have our start variable equal to zero and then whenever the document loads, which is just when we load the page for the first time, we send an Ajax request off to our data.php file and we just grab the first five videos. And when we grab the first five videos, what we do is we get the JSON that it returns, we loop through it and we append it to the body section of our page. We just put each video in a div and we store the video name and the video views. Down here is where it gets more interesting. This window.scroll function will run anytime we scroll in the window. So you can see here, I've just redefined what the window scroll function will do whenever it runs. And if I just scroll now in the window, you can see it's printing out all these numbers and those numbers are actually the position of the scroll bar so if I scroll up to the top you can see now it's set to zero if I scroll down a bit you can see it increases and if I get close to the bottom it goes to the maximum number but you can see that that function runs every time I scroll in the window every time we scroll we want to see if we're at the bottom of the page and that's what this line does here so scroll.top just gets the position of the top of the scroll bar so you can see now the scroll bar is at the very top it's zero and if I scroll down you can see it's just increased because the top of the scroll bar is now 24 pixels down on the, from the top of the page and what we do is we get the height of the body so we can get that just by pasting that in here you can see the height of the body is currently 552 pixels but now if I scroll down you can see the scroll bar shrunk because we loaded more data in and if I run this again you can see the body has increased in size to make room for the new data that we've just loaded and then we get the windows height so what we do is we get the height of the body and we subtract the height of the window so you can see if we run that if we take the body height and we subtract the window height we get this particular number and if I scroll down to the very bottom of the page and I print out the scroll top value you can see the scroll top value is bigger than the height of the body minus the height of the window so all we need to do is check if the scroll top value is greater than or equal to the height of the body minus the height of the window and we add this plus one just because sometimes when we end up with these fractional numbers of pixels our function won't run so we add a plus one to ensure that when we're at the bottom of the page the scroll top value will always be bigger than the height of the body minus the height of the window so provided that's true which means we're at the bottom of the window we're going to send another ajax request to data.php and we're going to pass our new start value because if we scroll up you can see after the function runs we're increasing the start value by five that allows us to get the next five videos 
and then after we get a response all we do is we append those to the page we increase start by five and then we have this set timeout function and the way that works it means we can only load new data once every four seconds and the reason we have that is because if I just go back to the page and now if I scroll down you can see how many times this function actually runs so what we want to do is only let it load once every four seconds you can choose whatever time you want and the way we do that is we just have this working variable it's normally set to false but the first time we run the scroll function what we're going to do is set it to true and then we're not going to set it back to false until four seconds has passed that means we'll only send one request every four seconds which will stop this problem of our function being run over and over and over again because in reality all I've done is hit the bottom of the page once but you can see the function ran over and over and over again and that's pretty much it so that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe don't forget to follow us on Facebook Twitter and Reddit if you have any questions you can email me at francis at howcode.org the source code of this video will be on the howcode github page there will be a link in the description but that's it for this video and I'll see you next time